Who is talking? You see, my friend UG says this, who is talking? There's no one talking. Who am I? When you hear the words from yourself, from this body, saying, I can't find myself, I can't find me, I can't find who I am, I can't find me. Everywhere I look, there are versions of me. And even when I look at my body, it's a version of who I am. But I can't really find me. You know, you're free. So therefore, when you do anything, or when words come from your voice, you don't know whether it's ego, whether it's self, whether it's pure mind, whether it's the body, whether it's conditioned thinking, whether it's conditioned learning that's speaking. You just don't know. What is happening right now is things are happening. And the viewer, if any viewer is there, cannot get his head around it, you see, because it sees a body, it sees the mouth working, it sees the mouth operating, it hears the voices, it hears the words, it knows the words, it's learned the words, it's making sense of the words, the brain is functioning to organize and structure this world but there's nothing happening there's nothing happening you see there is no one talking what is what am i saying am i saying that ug krishnamurti is right now not one bit unique different versions of truth a version of UG Krishnamurti and a version of this one. The title I were, was given was not healness, you see. This healness is a version of what I am. Because it doesn't pinpoint exact on the map here, healness. now -ness. you see people struggle with the word now here and now here and now here and now is ness conscious ness blissful ness auspicious ness it's no where permanent when it's ness What do I know about myself? I know what people tell me. I know what people remind me of. I have memory, the body and mind, regardless of what happens. You can be thrown in front of you could be thrown in front of God, naked, and he will strip you of everything. But he's not going to put you back without a body and without the basic functions of mind. Your basic functions of mind is eat, drink, piss, whatever. But it is also something that you cannot drop. Memory. Memory cannot be dropped. It can be dropped and then it comes again. You see? So what is left is a sense of the old person, a sense of the new person, a sense of soul, a sense of Holy Spirit, a sense of experiences, a sense of past, a sense of future, a sense of here, a sense of now. But this sense is like the smoke from a candle. It moves. It's not attached to anything. It does not stick on anything. 
So I cannot say what I am. I cannot find who I am. But I am a sense of what is. You see? A sense of what is. When you say someone else is permanent, you're lying. You see? Because everything is the same. I can find a sense of my wife. I can find a sense of my children. I can find a sense of this world. I can find a sense of smells. I can find a sense of seeing, touching, hearing. I can find a sense of God. I can find a sense of devil. I can be the sense. I am the sense, you see. The sense is not permanent. So I can see what you are as a form. I can see what I am as a form. But this form does not stick. Your form does not stick. Beyond your form, there's a sense of life, of love. Every form is a sense of life and love. Love is moving, you see. I am moved by this movie. I am moved by your compassion. I am moved by your gift. I am moved by your your attention to this poverty world. I am moved. Love is moving. Love is not permanent. Love is not a thing. Love is not a form. Love is not something that is going to stay. Pain will appear, but behind this pain is a sense of love. Behind the love is a sense of pain. I'm pained by your, your, your ways towards humanity. I'm pained by it. You're so loving that it pains me. Shakespeare plays everything, words and their true essence are all the same word. Everything comes back to the same word. And this word is wordless. When you walk down the road and someone says, what's your name? You say, Graham. Who are you? Okay, easier question. Where do you work? Ah. You don't say my body works. You're just... Yeah, the brain function comes in. The memory function comes in. The sense of brain comes in. The sense of memory function comes in. And you say, well, I, I'm a teacher. A painter. Oh my God, but I am also a father, I am also an artist, I am also a walker, I am also a swimmer, my God, I can't stop. So you have to, ego, please help me. Oh yes, I am, uh, I work for the NHS, I am a porter. Oh, very good. Freedom means you cannot pinpoint. You see, you cannot stick when you're free. You cannot, this world cannot stick when it's free. The people that you know cannot stick when they're free. You cannot say, I am that. I am that now. Oh yeah, but I'm also that. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> yeah, we just asked where you work. You see, ego, you know, we just want to kind of one step at a time. You see, ego is not free. Ego takes one thing at a time. Evaluates, puts to the brain, brain functions. Yeah, it has nothing to do with me. Ego then speaks to itself and says, you know what? We're in charge here. You know, I found out something about this guy. He is, he is one thing. Yeah, what's that? 
Yeah, he's a teacher. Yeah, he's a bit yeah, dull. One thing, he can be everything. No, he can't be everything. No. Not like us. Ego, we are everywhere. We are everything. But one step at a time. I, I don't think you understand when freedom comes you cannot say what you are you cannot say I am a man yes I'm a man but I'm also this and that and free and happy and oh my god the bird flies freely in the air when you say to the bird where are you going Well, I'm going to the nest. I'm going to go right and then left and then down. And I'm going to do a little dance, a little weave. And I'm going to go to the right again. And I'm going to go to the left. And I'm going to go up and down and right and left. Too much, too much, too much. You're going to the nest, you see? Ego can only understand one thing at a time. It can only accept one thing at a time. It can only be one thing at a time. Therefore, you have segregation. You have individual oneness. That person. And another person. Another person. Another person. A bird. An animal. A mirror. A wardrobe. A form. School. Education. Yeah? I have this question to ask class. 17 hands go up. Oh, one hand at a time, please. Yeah, one at a time. Ego, 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 ego. Teacher, ego. I don't know what you expect from being free. You expect to be free. Yes, it's me. Yeah, it's me. And I know about freedom. I am free. What's your name, John? But I'm free, John. You see? What else are you? No, oh, I'm just John. Hmm. And can you find John? Yes, you can. Hmm. What's your wife's name? Sally. Where is Sally? There. See? But we're free. Yeah? We see this life as free. What's your name? <laughs> too much. I have too many names. <laughs> I am everything. Yet I am nothing. Looney Ben. Mm. This one is not educated. He has a hundred thousand names, he says. But he will not answer to any of them. He has a hundred thousand names, but he will not answer to any of them. This one is completely lost. Completely lost? I am free. You see? What do you expect to gain from freedom? You see? What do you expect to gain from freedom? Do you expect to gain rewards? Ashrams? Do you expect to gain praise? Because you're attached to what others say about you. There's no one talking. And you, you can say, what is this one trying to get? Is he special? There is no one talking. There's nothing talking. Nothing is talking. This nothing. This nothing has been cast aside by you. You see, there's nothing talking. Oh, yeah, we see something. Nothing is talking through something. Something is talking through nothing. But the one who witnesses and says nothing. We must find this one. And see if you can put a name to this one. And see if you could have put a name to yourself, to the world, to the wardrobe.
and see if you can find something that is permanent. That's a chair. I went to school, you know. I know chairs. That's a chair. To the one that's free, yeah, whatever it is, it is. That's not going to get you far in this life, you see. You're not going to make a lot of money. You're not going to be famous. You're not going to be rich. You're not going to be bound by suffering because you're free. You are eternally free. There is no one talking. There is just this happening. And whatever is happening is either happening or it's not happening. And the one who witnesses it knows that whether it happens or not is not important. It has created it and it's on its way. Like the director who creates this great movie. Once it has been edited, filmed in the CD or the DVD or the videotape or whatever, Wow, here it is. The minute it leaves his hand, that's my job done. Anything else that happens after that, I don't really care. I don't really mind. Because there's nothing happening. Even the videotape that I just handed over has gone and passed. It is free to do what it wants. Everything is free to do what it wants. We only imagine we're bound. We only imagine we're suffering. We only imagine we're a form. We only imagine we're a human, a being, a body. We only imagine this world is the only thing in our world. We only imagine that we're going to stop when we stop breathing, we die. We only imagine that we were born. We only imagine that we're going to die. Everything is imagination, which is thought. Thought is bliss. When you let thoughts come and go and you realize there's nothing there's no thought no thinker no thought and no thing thought about and that is a sense that everything may be happening but it's only a sense 